News, Mississippi. Mississippi Daily Digital. It is the last day of September. It's Wednesday, the middle of the week. What's being sold at the corner store where your kids go to get their Cokes and candy? In Greenville, it was cut. That's a drug that's grown in Africa, imported to the U.S., and has been illegal in this country for 20 years. The store, Hakeem's Mini Mart, busted. The store owner arrested. His name is Muhammad Muhammad. He could get 20 years. Attorney General Jim Hood says sometimes, not necessarily in this case, but sometimes money used from the sale of cut uh, goes to fund terrorism in the Middle East, actually where the drug uh, comes from. A wreck in Kapaya County last night. A man killed Joel Upton, but that was the second wreck yesterday. Remember that high school football player killed yesterday morning. So double grief for the folks in Kapaya County today. A murder in Yazoo City Monday night. A guy stabbed in the chest twice, left in the middle of the street, face up. But they don't know exactly what it was he was stabbed with. Coroner Ricky Shivers says it wasn't a knife. And today, Jeffrey Williams' body is at the state crime lab for an autopsy. They're doing further testing to see exactly what kind of sharp object was used to kill him. Your power bill could be going up. The EPA regulations mean Mississippi power plants will have a tough time actually complying, and some of them may have to close if the clean power plan becomes law and policy in D.C., Senator Roger Wicker giving the EPA some tough questions yesterday. You can see that video on the News Mississippi app. You'll also be able to find out more about Initiative 42, which is going to be on the ballot in November. If you need it explained simply, the News Mississippi app is the place to get it. For the News Mississippi Daily Digital for the last day of September 30th, I'm Chris Davis.